give it to you? Oh, no question he gave it to us. It, um, he had his game face on. He had his um, stuff to match the, um, you know, the, the strong intensity that he brought to the game tonight. He was ready. He was prepared. He's a pro. Um, made pitches. Him and Yachty working together very, very well. Changed, changed speeds well. Had his good curveball in play. Um, you know, had him off balance. Art of pitching, right? You know, he disruption of hitters' balances, and he had some, uh, you know, Farmer took a swing on him. But uh, otherwise, he had guys, you know, a little bit out front, and he was throwing in, which I thought was great. And, uh, and again, the curveball was good. He was he was tremendous to get into that seventh and, and uh, grab grabbing out in the seventh. Do you think over the last few starts, you started to see what – I, I, let me start here. The phrase you've used a lot is you need a guy where he is. You get a new guy like Lester who is, I mean, he was open to change. He said as much to us. He said, I, I needed to figure out a way to do things differently. Do, have we seen that over the last few starts, kind of the evolution of what you guys put into play maybe shortly after that? Yeah, you're, you're, you're definitely seeing I think it's a great observation, Derek. You're seeing, um, first of all, credit to John Lester, right? I mean, this is a guy that, and, and we talk about this with, with a lot of the guys, I and mean, we're new to John. Um, but I do feel like it's applicable to him, to, to Hap, to LeBlanc. Um, uh, in my observation with Wayno Yachty, um, the guys that have experience in this game, I have so much respect because they're willing to adjust to what they need to do and use their ability. And, and you know, that can be a hard thing. People just gravitate to, I've always done it this way, I've always done it this way, I've always done it this way. And, Man, you got to make adjustments in your life, you know, in your career. And some guys do it, and some guys don't. And some guys aren't capable of doing it, even though they're trying to do it. But I respect John. Came in, we met him where he was. We wanted to hear what he had to say. You know, it doesn't work, um, at least from my view, to to um, regardless of the guys that've been with us or the guys that have come in new that have experiences. It doesn't work to cram your stuff in their in their grill, man. You know, you want to you want to hear what they have to say. You want to respect what they have to say, and then you want to you want to work with them. And then, um, you know, we do our jobs at that point. You know, we got a good staff, really good staff that, you know, can can help, you know, give some suggestions to the guys and and create some clarity for them. But ultimately, the credit goes to the player and credit goes to John Lester. He's been good. Yeah, true to the game, it didn't take long. Less well, about twenty four hours for it to find what you were going to do with the bullpen in the ninth with a with a slim lead. Just the, the way those guys got the game to Geo and the even heartbeat that he had there in the ninth. Bullpen's really been great. You know, Katie mentioned that for the game. Bullpen's been tremendous. You know, we've had a couple of rough half innings that make it not taste as well, but the bullpen has really been tremendous for us recently. And, um, you know, kudos to McFarlane when he came in. Um, you know, Lester gets 16 straight. And um, you know, walks walks Votto, and you know, it's just that's you know, his second longest outing of the year. And you know, once a walk takes place, you know, not that you know, you just feel like okay, we'll grab Mac in the game. And another thing with that decision, Derek was, um, you know, Farmer had taken the one swing off of him. So um, get Mac in there, get him on the ground. Of course, you know, Farmer hits a <laughs> it's a ball down the line for the ground rule double. And and um, and man, what a play by Nolan. You know, he comes in, gets the ground ball on Suarez. No one makes a baseball play, throws home, um, and then he's able to get Naquin um, on the punch out to finish it and go back out and, and uh, you know, get Aquino on the high fly ball and then um, get Mostakas on the on the ground ball to first. So, tremendous job by Mac. Get Garcia in there, boom, you know, gets the ground ball and um, follows it up and, and gets his guy in St- Stevenson. And then Gio comes in, man, does a nice job. Throwing strikes, controlled counts, um, you know, fastball where we wanted to, and the slider was really filthy too. So, um, yeah, you know what? I mean, Alex has done a nice job for us this year. We got to see what's in front of us over the most recent patch and make a little adjustment. And Geo came in, did a nice job, and, um, you know, Alex is going to be big for us in other areas as well. Katie Wu, the athletic. Mike, we've talked about the margin of error that this club has, and keeping that in mind, there's 
that insurance in front of the seventh is huge, but it only comes to play because of Dylan Carlson's space running there. He let us know earlier that that was an opportunity he missed in the Tiger series. So to see him, he said that he came back and sat down with the staff and kind of learned what that looked like and how it would unfold. To see him get that nearly exact same situation and be able to capitalize and score that big run there, what did you see from Dylan? How big is that? It's big, you know, and I'm proud of him. Um, first of all, he took great swings. You know, he took some really good swings on Castilla, who was, you know, I thought had his good stuff tonight. You know, Goldie put a good swing on him early, and uh, Dylan put some really good swings on him, took some good at bats, and, um, you know, hits that double, and then, you know, Nolan come up, hit the ground ball to third, and, and you know, we talk about that play, work on that play. You know, you can talk about anything, but as Mr. Kissel would say, you need to include them, and it's a play we work on. Um, and he did, he, you know, I, I applaud him for um, missing in Detroit and being able to make an adjustment with it. Um, and it was a huge play. You know, you get over there with two outs, and, you know, Neil gets the infield single and it scores, and, you know, it allows us to, to score that insurance run. And so it's a good solid fundamental team we work on them and uh, to dylan's credit he executed and it was a, it was a you know subtle big play and i'm glad you brought it up nice job by dylan carlson across the board tonight nice slide and grab on Vado's ball as well